Vishing scams are on the rise. What is vishing? Vishing is short for voice phishing or voice mail phishing. In either case, the criminal uses voice communication or the promise of voice communication to target individuals and coerce them into sharing sensitive information about themselves. Vishing scams have become an especially prominent problem among those who are less digitally inclined and may be more likely and willing to hand over information over the phone. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and get involved. You may be wondering how do you fall victim to vishing scams? Phishing scams can come in many forms, but they generally involve two vectors that both aim at getting you to hand over your information. The first method, voice phishing, aims at getting you on the phone. In some cases, fraudsters will pose as bank officials or those from a government entity like the Internal Revenue Service. They may even say they're from a cybersecurity company. Depending on the angle they take, the fraudsters will seek to dupe you into believing that your personal information is at risk, has been stolen, or you simply owe money for something. They'll then send you a link to a fraudulent site that will be used to steal sensitive information and credentials to bank accounts, email accounts, or any other data they're targeting. Voicemail phishing scams or vishing are designed for those who use services like WhatsApp for their voice messaging. They may also be used against corporate users who receive emails when voicemails are left on their work phones. While the emails or messages from the fraudsters will look legitimate and appear to come from a real voicemail service, they are not. Instead, when you click on the link in the email to listen to your voice message, you'll find a malicious page that aims to steal your information. So how can you protect yourself from vishing scams? Vishing scammers are effective at what they do, so it's important not to underestimate them. But there are some steps you can take to protect yourself. For one, don't ever share personal information with anyone over the phone without verifying that they are indeed from the organization they claim to be from. Instead of talking to the person who called you, call the organization itself by using their official numbers listed on their website. Whenever you receive an email purporting to include a voicemail, take a second and evaluate whether it's legitimate. While it may look like a real email, inspect the link it wants you to visit and check to see whether it came from the domain you'd expect. In some cases, phishing scammers will use domains and links that look like the desired destination, but when you look closely, they are not identical. Most importantly, if something just doesn't feel right, don't trust it. With all the scams we face each day, it's easy to fall prey. But if something feels off or you just don't think you should trust the person or link you just received, trust your instinct. It's far better to be safe than a victim of a vishing scam. To find out what the Interpol is doing about this problem, look at Grace Maje's excellent article at the following link. Stay safe. Stay secure, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.